Hey guys, it's Beermasters Reactions, and we're back with another movie reaction. This one, The Beyond, from 1981, I believe. The sequel to City of the Living Dead. I literally just watched it about 30 minutes ago. I took a break. I tried to soak it in. I ate a little bit, and I'm jumping into this. I might even jump immediately from this into House by the Cemetery. All three films were randomly told to me to be some of the greatest Italian horror films of all time. And I didn't realize till after I started doing a little research that they're all connected in what's called the Gates of Hell trilogy, I believe it is. So City of the Living Dead was amazing. I literally just finished it way better than I imagined. Not that I thought it would be bad. I just like always go into movies thinking maybe they're overhyped or maybe it's I've seen so much that I'm just going to be like, oh, that's just like everything else I've seen. Very different than many things I've seen. The whole idea of the ghosts sort of controlling your fears, basically teleporting all over the place, and your fears were allowing them to do so. The people who ended up living at the end were one Mary, who I didn't trust the entire movie. I still don't know if we can. The only reason being that in the very beginning of the movie, she was in a seance. And she died. Everyone was like, she's dead. An ambulance comes. They drive her away. She's dead. We put her in a coffin. We bury her. We have the funeral. She's literally in the ground. And the only reason she's not dead further, if she wasn't already dead, is the guys digging the hole are like, up five o'clock, we're done. And the guy who's there, I cannot remember his name, but he is dead, so it doesn't matter. He was sort of a journalist or something looking for information on what was going on. He hears her scream only because she's not fully buried. And then he digs her up. And I'm to assume that she was just misdiagnosed. But being this is a movie where people rise from the dead, I don't trust that. It's never brought up again. So I guess that is what it is. But they might change it if this is a sequel that deals with that. The only reason I say that is because people said it's loosely a sequel. Does that mean we don't see Mary again? Jerry also lived. Jerry, the guy who I thought would immediately die because he was just too calm and collective, ends up being the method you need to prevail because being cool, calm, and collective is the only way you could conquer the fears of these ghosts which randomly appear. Little John also survived. We went down into the pits of hell, basically, down underground inside the coffin of Father Thomas. And then we stabbed him in the balls, it looked like, with a giant cross. He vomited everywhere. Everyone erupted into fire. And then we crawled back up through the top. And then Little John was like, you're alive. And we're all going to embrace in glorious, joyful glee. And then they play that music. Dun, dun. And we see Jerry and Mary make a face like, no. And Little John might have made a face too. His name is John John. I keep calling him Little John John. His name is John John. But he was the son or the family member of everyone that died. Emily was his sister, I believe, murdered their parents. He saw it happen. He's probably traumatized. But my question is, do any of them even matter? Because had I not just read earlier that this was a sequel to that, I don't know. Is that Mary right there in the picture? I don't know. It's a blonde girl whose eyes look like they're flipped around. Maybe it's Mary. But the fact that it's loosely a sequel makes me happy. It could be something like the Coronado trilogy, where they made loose little connections, but nothing really mattered. The same people played different roles and stuff like that. Who knows? It's a year after the last one. Let's jump in. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full on edited episodes of all the shows on the channel. Seasons ahead of what you're seeing. Hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is at the end. Dozens of shows you'll never see on YouTube. I just don't have time to edit it all. Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Battlestar, Stargate. These in full, probably dozens of movies, 30, 40 plus hundreds of other episodes of miscellaneous random television. Check it out. If not, The Beyond from 1981. Louisiana, 1927. Oh, we're going to get some background. Is it still... What was it done? Oh, I can't remember the name. One year after the last one, as far as the making of it. This is 1927, so clearly it is way later. Tell me that's Mary. Are they going to say that's Mary? Ebon. What is Ebon? I'm going to watch these and then 
at the very end, they're gonna go, the devil takes you, and I'm gonna, ah, that's the whole trilogy. It's called the Gates of Hell trilogy. So I would have to assume all of them are involving the Gates of Hell. The fog is rolling in. What is about to happen here? Look at this dude. He's like, shit's about to go down. It looks like they just want to take him in. Godly warlock. Oh, maybe not. Oh. I said maybe they just want to take him in. The seven dreaded gateways. Oh my god. They're all taking their beating. God, they're putting it right through his friggin'. They're like crucifying him. I guess they think he's a demon or a devil or something. What is that? Boiling. What is that? They just poured boiling whatever it is. He's fucking melted. Woe be unto him who opens one of the seven gateways to hell. Oh, and then the book lights up. Or what, what just happened? El tu vivre nel terror la aldea. Reason I kept thinking I had seen this movie before. I kept thinking of From Beyond, the sequel to Reanimator. I don't think Joe's gonna make it, guys. I think Joe broke through the wall just so we could have a gateway. What am I looking at? That's probably something that's gonna scare the shit out of me. What is this right here? Oh, another symbol. So we already got several connections. Something's reaching through. There's gonna be a hand or something. Joe, go. Is she gonna see Joe appear on the bridge now or something? No, no, no. Who is it? Oh, it's the eye lady. It's the eyes lady that Larry saw. You are Liza, aren't you? My name is Emily. Emily? I've been looking for Is it Emily Emily from part one? Uh... Is he still alive? Is he still alive? Oh God, it makes me friggin' sick. Is that the dude? Go back to where you came from and hurry. Her voice is Leave great. That, like, she sounds great. You know Joe's getting up. You know this guy, sorry dude. You dress that man quick. What knocks her out and what the freak? It's melting. It's like. What scared her? If that was her mother, I'm assuming it was her mother. It just completely melted. We didn't know them long enough to even understand. And her, I still don't know what the what the lady was looking at that scared her. The gelatin. All right, then. So that's what the lady was scared of. They really take their time with it. There is the symbol again. On that day, the dead will walk the earth. There it is. There it is. The day the gates of hell are opened, the dead will walk on earth. Emily, why do you have eyes like that? Tell me more of your story. Oh, great. Who is this? Who's there? Something is right next to her somewhere. I thought this girl was gonna end up being like against us and instead she is probably going to suffer. The thing looks way bigger than Wait, it should be. Ah! Oh god, that's I don't wanna go back! You can't take me! No! Go away! I did what I've been asked! Now leave me alone! Oh please don't hurt the dog. Attack! Take me attack! Oh god! Oh, you're going to hear the dog cry or something. Thank God. I don't expect Dicky to win. They're going to close in on her and scare the shit out of me. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. Good boy. Uh, Good boy, Dicky. <laughs> Motherfucker. Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh my. It, could that have been any worse? It reminded me of like Pet Cemetery. I'm like, Dicky is gonna turn on her. That's why she had the eyes like she had? Is that what happened with the little girl? What just happened? He said the seven gateways of hell and the whole world erupts. Now blood is emerging from underneath. That's like in the last one, in the last movie, all the glass shot across the room by Jerry 
Something's coming, jumping in front of him. The way the last one ended was Mary and Jerry were in the cemetery and John John was running towards them and it ended with abrupt boom, boom. Is it gonna be like a crazy twist or something? Like is Liza, Mary, are they all connected in some weird way? I mean, anything could go at this point. How does the little girl play in? I almost feel like the little girl with the eyes somehow plays into this. Maybe that was just showing that like people could be grabbed and turned and still be out there looking as real people. The bleeding of the hands again, the bleeding of the hands. Holy God damn. Did he get her? I don't know if she's done for. I think she's all right, she's still functioning. Listen to the music, it sounds like a Western or something. Headshots, headshots. There you go, there you go. Oh God, what just happened? Oh, what, 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 what? Did she not realize? Whoa, whoa, dude. Why did you just waste two bullets when you clearly knew headshots were? Was he testing the theory? He saw a headshot, clearly took it down twice. Oh God, you're in a bad room too. This is the room that the little girl was in when she screamed and she turned, but these are just more bodies. I think everyone's dead. I, I don't think anyone's making it out of this movie. Oh, ho, ho. why is she still there? Is th Was the other little girl not the same little girl? Did they take her body? Has she been here the whole movie? This is where the little girl turned. She still is that eyed. Oh, is he still good? He's still good. He's still good. I don't know. We got no more bullets. I don't even know why you still have the gun. Oh, never mind. I forgot. See, now the fact, though, that the little girl has the eyes is making me think she'll help us like Emily did. You can't just keep firing and hide in the corner. Well, that sucked for that dude. That dude lived all that time to get shattered in the face with glass. There is no consideration for, for life in this. Someone dies, they just move on to the next one. The little girl is either the saving grace of all this or the devastation that's gonna end the world. We have a younger version of an Emily with the eyes. That one dude is creepy as hell. The guy with the bald head, I've seen him multiple times now. Clearly had a lobotomy. Look how slow they're moving. Walk up to them and just execute them one by one. Walk up to those bastards. They're not moving very fast. Blast them in the frigging heads. Yeah, you guys hear that, right? Thank you. Yeah, you hear it, right? You hear it? Maybe they didn't hear it. Oh, this is... This is the final guy. And I don't think you could headshot him because I think he's got protection. Is that what it's going to be? I bet you it doesn't penetrate his head. But yet, John keeps shooting the torso for some reason. Oh shit, the little girl is bad. Oh my god. I thought that was going to be some big twist. And that is what happened there. Immediately, without hesitation, headshot little girl. Yet he still continues to shoot people in the, the torso. I don't understand his, his thinking process. Limited bullets, surrounded by the undead. We're under the hotel, holy shit. What is this, what is that noise, who is this? The way they solved it last time, I'll repeat myself. Father Thomas was in front of the gate and they stabbed him with a cross. Are they gonna have to confront the gate? And then the cement head man, whatever he is, clay face, giant three foot cross to the dick got to Father Thomas. I think the thing is you have to confront the gate. What is, oh yeah, what the frig? In the first one, it was on the site of all these witches, like Salem witches. We surrounded? What are we seeing? What are we looking at? They're looking from side to side like I don't... Oh God, they just turned. Did they fail? Or is it something? And you will face the sea of darkness and all therein that may be explored. What? That's the painting. Isn't that like the painting? What the... Amazing movie, guys. I have so much I need to think about. I have to rewatch these in full from what I gather. 
I'm just going to go because I've just watched three plus straight hours from City of the Living Dead into this. And I do appreciate the connections it made. It was what I thought it was. It wasn't going to make like right in your face. Like here's connections. They have the symbols with the gates of hell. They have this painting. So this painting ends up being, unless I'm crazy, that is the painting, right? Because it looked much different when it was in the attic. It was very dusty. It was hard to make out exactly what I was seeing. But that looks a lot like what I was seeing. It's just now it's much more clear. I could see their bodies. I thought in the portrait in the attic when I was looking at it, it almost looked like horses or dogs or animals or something. I didn't realize these were bodies. That's why when I saw them walking out into it, I wasn't like mind blown because I, mind you, have just seen all of this for the first time. Three plus hours for the first time. I'm trying to absorb as much as humanly possible and enjoying beverages for Halloween but now that I see very clearly these are bodies, they walk in, they relived the scene in the portrait that existed since the first city of the living dead. Plus, 1927 is what we started with in the beginning of this movie. So that even predates the city of the living dead. On top of all of that, I said it in the movie, but I am thinking current times. I am 41 right now. My birthday is is 1981, October 1981. So it just passed. I just turned 41. When I saw 1927, I'm thinking, all right, so that's about 100 years ago, give or take five years. Then I realized I'm already over 40 years old. This movie was made in 81. It was only about 50, less than 60 years from 1927 to when this movie was made. That makes a huge difference. A hundred years, cut that in half. It actually makes sense because in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, so no one's still alive. It's 1927. Now it's 2022. No one's still alive. They'd have to be like 120 years old. Maybe they will be for supernatural reasons, but no, they could feasibly be alive because in this movie, they'd only be in their 80s, if they were in their 20s when that all happened, and it looked like most of them were in their 20s or 30s, they would feasibly, possibly still be alive in the 80s. And it blew my mind for a second because I'm like, oh my God, not only do I feel old, but this actually could make sense in a different way now because I was thinking that wasn't even a possibility. But I'm ranting about a bunch of stuff that probably isn't even relevant. All I know is we had another Emily. Now here is where there might be a connection and I'm not 100% sure. At the end of City of the Living Dead, we had Jerry, we had Mary, we had John John, and I think the detective lived. Now we have this. This is obviously a new location, another entrance way, another gateway to hell. It is a hotel. He finds this book. It's Iban, e Iban. E I don't know. They were saying it different. I think they were saying Iban. But it's E-I-B-O-N. The book is being seen all over the place. It was in a bookstore. It wasn't in a bookstore. It was in this house. The dude found it. John, the guy who, I'm just going to point this out right now. What was he thinking? I almost thought he was in on it because he made several headshots and realized, okay, they were like, like, am I wrong to, under, like, what was happening? They were like, torso shot, torso shot, headshot. It goes down. John's like, aha. Torso shot, torso shot, headshot, it goes down. Aha! And he did that like five times, wasted all his ammo. What? How many times do you have to shoot something in the torso two or three times and then do a headshot and it goes down to realize that only headshots are working? It even went to the extreme of him literally walking up to a zombie or whatever the heck they are, shot it in the kidney, like literally point blank rage, shot it in the kidney, then shot it in the chest, then shot it in the head and it went down. And this was after he already saw two or three guys go down with only only headshots. What are you doing, sir? You have a handgun. You're surrounded by at least a dozen to two dozen walking dead, and you are wasting ammo that you need. Here are the clear things that I want to point out, and then I might jump into House by the Cemetery, which is the third of the trilogy, because now it's all fresh in my mind, and I want to experience all of this. But the Emily girl said to all these people that surround her in the house, she had the dog Dickie. I'm guessing Dickie, the German shepherd, was sort of like a like a hellhound, maybe representing some sort of 
dog of hell or a guard dog or something to that effect. I'm not 100% sure on that because she was clearly from beyond the grave. That's why her eyes were rolled and that's why the little girl, Jill was her name, her eyes were rolled in the back of her head. She reappeared in the location in which she died in. That was clearly relevant and that's probably why she was there when we found her at the end. But the people with the eyes spun in their heads are clearly dead? But then that would mean at the end that John and Liza died. So did they die? And that's why they saw things the way they did? Like, maybe they died. And the reason they went in the basement, they're like, that's weird, this can't be, we're in the basement of the hotel. They were in the hospital. And then all of a sudden they were in the basement of the hotel. And then... They walked into the room where the gate should have been and they saw this portrait of bodies, but in real life, everyone laid out almost like a prophecy and their eyes rolled and they looked in a horrific fright, very similar to the way Jerry and Mary looked in the last, but their eyes didn't roll. And there was also a kid like Emily or not Emily, like Jill in this was like John John, but John John survived. Are they all going to come together? Are we going to see some of these people again? Do we see John again? Do we see Liza again from this? Do we go back to City of the Living Dead, back to the first location, or somehow revisit John John? I feel like if anybody will revisit us in the third one, because so much time goes by, it'll be John John, only because he was a little kid and they can make him an adult. But I don't feel like this show cares about stuff like that. They make connections in ways like symbols and books and lore and gates of hell and stuff like that. But they don't seem to really care about anything else other than possibly Emily being the same Emily from part one, which was John John's sister, if I'm not mistaken. Was that the same? Because this whole movie, I'm going, is it the same Emily? I find it very hard to believe they would make a main character have the same name as a main character in the other movie. And Emily was clearly a main character because she was attached to John John and murdered the whole family in City of the Living Dead. So this makes me believe that's got to be the same Emily. She's not the same actress, though, I don't think. But the fact that she was already undead and everyone was calling her back, and she's like, I don't want to go back. I did my job. I don't want to go back. I hated that Dickie saved her. And then you could see that Dickie was clearly missing part of his head. I don't know to what extreme, but I don't care to know. And as soon as I realized, I'm like, oh my God, this is like a pet cemetery thing. It's tainted. Dickie is corrupted. He might have saved her, but he's going to go after her. And then he killed her. Or, see, here's the only other thought, because I just started thinking about devil dogs and stuff like that. Is it possible that even though Dickie protected her, that Dickie wasn't meant to have her be there. Maybe Dickie was going to turn on her regardless. I don't think that was the case. But in my head, I'm thinking maybe Dickie, if she had this dog, they clearly gave her a dog to roam the earth. So was it that like Dickie will protect you till further notice, but now everyone's dead and you got to go back and Dickie took you out? Or was it that Dickie got corrupted because they mauled him and ripped his friggin' scalp off? I'm assuming that's what it was. But there's multiple things. They leave a lot of things ambiguous, and I like it. It keeps you thinking, I'm going to watch videos on this, but I'm going to jump into House by the Cemetery. Amazing movie so far, guys. City of the Living Dead, The Beyond, great stuff. Let's see what else we got. You guys want to see more of what I do, full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel. Seasons ahead of what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you'll only see on Patreon. The link is in front of me. Dozens of shows you'll never see on YouTube. I just don't have time to edit all Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Battlestar, Stargate, Fringe, all these other shows, Eureka, these movies in full, there's upwards of 30 or 40 movies, hundreds of different TV shows. Go check it out, Patreon exclusives. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.